Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to expand a binomial using Pascal's triangle. Pero bago yun guys, tignan muna natin saan ba nagmula yung ating Pascal's triangle. Okay? So, consider the following powers of A plus B. So, ito yung ating binomial where A is our first term and B yung ating last term. Okay? Then, if we raise a plus b by 1, so that is equivalent to a plus b. Then, if we get the square ng ating binomial na a plus b, so that is the square of binomial, which is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Tama? Then, ang a plus b cube naman natin is equals kay a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube. Okay, so kung mapansin nyo guys, uh, yung ating um, polynomial is parang may fina-follow na pattern. Okay, so try natin ngayon i-list down lahat ng coefficients ng ating polynomial. So like for example, doon sa ating n equals 1, by the way, Yung n dito guys, ito yung ating exponent nung binomial. Okay, so if n is equals to 1, ano yung coefficients nung ating polynomial? So, ang coefficient ni a dito is 1. Ito yun. Then, ang coefficient ng ating b is also 1. Nakuha? Next, if n is equals to 2, ano naman yung ating mga coefficients? Una, Meron tayong 1, ito yon followed by 2. Then, ang last term natin, may coefficient din na 1, so ito yun. Nakuha? Then, next, we have um, n equals 3. Okay, so, ang n equals 3 natin, yun yung uh, a plus b cube natin dito. So, ano yung mga coefficients natin dito? Una, we have 1. Ito yun. Then, 3. Then, we have also 3. And, ang last term natin may coefficient na 1. Nakuha? So, as you can see, guys, kung magtutuloy-tuloy yung ating um, pag-expand ng binomial using the exponent uh, 1, 2, 3, up to 8, makakabuo tayo dito, guys, ng triangle. Okay? So, ano yung pattern na nakita natin? So, kung, ma kung makapansin nyo, yung first uh, number natin and last number ng kada row natin is equals to positive 1. Tama? Then, yung mga middle values natin dito sa gitna is meron ding pattern. So, pakita ko sa inyo. So, paano natin nakuha si 2 dito sa ating triangle? So, kung makapansin nyo, yung 2 dito guys, yan yung sum nung dalawang number sa taas. Tama? So, if we have 1 plus 1, so that is equals to 2. Okay? So, try naman natin sa iba. Next, yung 3 dito. That is 1 plus 2, so this is equals to 3. Then, 2 plus 1 is also equals to 3. Okay? Then, move pa tayo. Yung 4 naman natin dito, that is 1 plus 3, which is equals to 4. Then, 3 plus 3, that is equals to 6. Then, 3 plus 1, that is equals to positive 4. Okay, then makakabuo tayo guys dyan ng mga um, another set of values gamit yung mga sum na yan. Okay, and ito yung tinatawag nating Pascal's Triangle. Okay, so ngayon, paano ba ginagamit si Pascal's triangle in expanding a binomial? So, let's have example number 1. So, use Pascal's triangle to expand A plus B raised to 8. Okay, so dito guys, uh, since yung N natin is equals to 8, so gagamitin natin yung 8th row natin doon sa ating Pascal's triangle. 
So, it, kung ito yung ating Pascal's triangle, nandito yung ating 8th row. So, kukopyahin natin to Then, ito yung magiging pattern ng ating polynomial. Okay, so try natin. Una, we have 1 followed by 8, then 28, 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, and 1. Okay, so dito guys, uh, gamit tong mga numbers na to, makukuha natin ng mas madali yung ating polynomial. So, ang paproblemahin na lang natin dito is kung paano natin ipapasok yung ating first term and last term. Okay, so una, so to get the first term ng ating uh, polynomial, first, kopyahin muna natin yung coefficient which is equals to 1. Then, multiply natin yan guys doon sa ating first term which is A times B yung ating second term. Okay, ngayon, uh, meron din tayong pattern dito pag pagpunta natin doon sa exponent ng ating mga variables. So, since ang n natin is equals to 8, yung a natin, guys, is mag start kay 8. Okay? And ang starting exponent naman ni b is equals to 0. Okay? Then, we have uh, next term naman. Plus, next, we have 8. So, this time, we also have a times b. Then, ang exponent naman ni a dito, guys, is magma-minus 1 lang tayo doon sa nauna. So, since ang first exponent natin is, is 8, dito sa second term natin, ang a naman natin is naka-raise kay 7. Nakuha? Then, doon naman tayo sa b. Since ang first term natin is merong exponent na 0 kay b, sa next term natin, guys, magpa-plus 1 lang tayo. Okay? So, 0 plus 1, so that's equals to 1. Nakuha? So, next, we have 28. Ito yung ating third term. So, applying the same procedure, we have a. So, since 7 yung first exponent, at ang... Sa third term natin, ang a is may raised to 6. Tama? Magma-minus 1 lang tayo. Okay? Then, si b naman, since 1 yung sinundan, plus 1, so that is equals to 2. Okay? Then, tuloy-tuloy lang guys, hanggang makapunta tayo dun sa dulong uh, term natin. Okay? So, next, we have 56. So, that is 56 times a raised to 5 times b, then cube. Okay? Followed by 70 times a raised to 4 times b raised to 4. Okay? Then followed by 56 times a cube times b raised to 5. Next, we have 28 times a square times b raised to 6. Okay? Then, plus 8 times a raised to 1 times b raised to 7. Then, ang last term natin, we have plus 1 times a. So, since 1 na yung pinakalas natin dito na, na sinundan niya, so 1 minus 1, so, dito we have a raised to 0. Then, sabi naman natin, since 7 yung sinundan, so 7 plus 1, that is equals to 8. Okay, then simplify natin to guys. So, 1 times a raised to 8 times b raised to 0. So, this is equals to a raised to 8. Tama? Plus 8 times a raised to 7 times b raised to 1. So, that is 8a raised to 7 times b. Plus, 28 times natin dito guys. So, we have 28 times a raised to 6 times b square. Followed by 56. Multiply natin. So, that is 56 times a raised to 5 times b cubed. Okay? 
Next, we have 70 times A raised to 4 times B raised to 4. Next, we have 56 times A cubed B raised to 5. Then we have 28 A square times B raised to 6 followed by 8 A B raised to 7. Then ang ating last term is equals to uh, 1 times A raised to 0. By the way, uh, any number raised to 0 is equals to 1. So, pwedeng makancel na to. Okay, then we have B raised to 8. So, therefore, uh, ang expanded form ng ating A plus B raised to 8 is equals to this polynomial. Naintindihan guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. Use the Pascal's triangle to expand the expression 2x minus 3y raised to 5. So, in this case, uh, since n is equals to 5, so, kukopyahin natin guys yung mga numbers dun sa ating fifth row sa ating Pascal's triangle. So, we have 1, 1 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay, so again, we have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So, gamit itong mga numbers na ito, bubuuin natin ngayon yung ating polynomial. So, una, we have 1 times yung first term natin, which is 2x. So, since ang exponent natin is raised to 5, so yung 2x natin dito is may power na 5. Tama? Then, times, we have negative 3y. Then, ang first exponent ng ating second term is 0. Okay? Then, sundan natin, we have plus. Next term natin, we have 5 times 2x. So, this time, raise to 4 na lang tayo. Okay? Kasi magma-minus 1 tayo doon sa ating sinundang term. Then, kay negative 3y naman, meron tayong uh, 0 plus 1. So, ang negative 3y natin dito is naka-raise by 1. Okay, then we have 10 times 2x, then cube times negative 3y square. Okay, next, another 10 times 2x raised to 2 times negative 3y cube. Then we have plus 5 times 2x square times, ah, sorry. So, ang 2x natin dito is raised to 1 na lang since 2 yung sinundan. Tama? Then, negative 3y, then 3 plus 1, so, naka-raise tayo dito by 4. Then, ang last term natin, we have 1, times 2x raised to 0 times negative 3y raised to 5. Okay, so simplify natin to guys. So, yung negative 3y raised to 0, this is equivalent to 1. So, ang first term natin ngayon, we have uh, 2x raised to 5. So, ang 2 raised to 5 natin, that is equals to 32x raised to 5. Tama? Next, we have... Um, 5 times 2x raised to 4. So, ang 2 raised to 4 natin, that is equals to 16 times x raised to 4 times we have negative 3y raised to 1, that is negative 3y. Okay? Next, we have 10 times 2x cubed, that is 8x cubed, then negative 3y squared, that is 9y square. Okay? Then followed by 10 or plus 10 times 2x square, that's 4x square. Then negative 3y cubed, that is equals to negative 27, ah, negative 27y cubed. Tama? Next, we have plus 5 times 2x raised to 1, so that's 2x, then negative 3y raised to 4, that is 
81y raised to 4. Okay? Then last, we have 2x raised to 0. This is equals to 1. Then negative 3y raised to 5. That is negative 243y raised to 5. Okay, so ngayon, kunin natin yung product ng kada term. So, ang first term natin, we have 32x raised to 5. Then, 5 times 16 times negative 3. That is negative 240x raised to 4y. Okay? Then, 8 times 10 times 9. That is 720x cubed y squared. Next, we have 10 times 4 times negative 27. That is negative 1,080. Then, x squared y cubed. Okay? Next, 5 times 2 times 81. That is 810. x y raised to 4. Then, ang ating last term, we have 1 times negative 243. That is negative 243 y raised to 5. Nakuha? So, therefore, the expanded form ng ating 2x minus 3y raised to 5 is equals to this polynomial. Nakuha, guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano i-apply si Pascal's triangle in expanding uh, 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 binomial. Okay? So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!